volume of foot space. We've obviously got this sort of scaffold in, so when the scaffold goes, we'll gain more height that you, you've never seen. Now, there's a good photograph here showing this, there's nothing in it, it looks huge. It's really starting to compact now. But, so this is the uh, new uh, floor supporting structure going in now. When we did the brick thing, we, we, we just did a test and we stripped off this side of the pool. It's all glazed brickwork and the terrazzo finished on the floor, it's slightly grey. It must look fantastic once upon a time. So what we're doing, between those two lugs, you see the two lugs sticking out about three metres apart from each other, we're going to put a slice of glass floor in and we're going to underlight that. So, because people didn't want us to ever forget this, this is a swimming pool and the swimming pool is still there. So we're going to create a little area, clean that space up between so people can look down and see there was, or still is, a swimming pool beneath us. It's not a little touch, I think. Um, so you're walking here, you've got these alcoves, all the way around. What these ones were, were changing booths, for swimming over for, for changing. If you look behind you, these are the only ones left, but they weren't there, they'd gone. But, uh, what? They were Melamine 1977 vintage, they were horrible, so they, they've gone. And the, the original ones, you've just got here. We had permission to take out this middle one. We needed to do this with protein engines. Through. But we're actually going to retain all these. And you can see it's still got the original, original doors. So you imagine this would have continued all the alcoves all the way around once upon a time. But we're going to keep taking out the middle partition on these doors. We're just going to tie these back. So this will stay. And this, if you see up here, it's very large gantry. It's a viewing gallery. Unfortunately, the one down the far end had gone before we took the building, but we're also going to retain this. We're going to put a, a DJ booth up there. So we have a nice night vent. DJ sits up there, and then everyone sort of dances in this area down here. In the alcoves, we're building in some furniture, um, and there's going to be a screen on the wall above each one so they can run, you know, like MTV or anything they want to run, you know, student information, something. Sort of or you can actually plug in and use your laptop and use that screen to do group work. And so it's I'm trying to think what sort of vibe it would be. Is it, it's, it's a bit industrial, isn't it? It's a bit, it's a bit dirty, it's a bit industrial, but I think it would add to character. It's a good light, it would look good for business. What we can't see is how light this room can be. Because the scaffold's in, you get to As of today, they don't, they don't put up the top ones that have taken off where the roof lights are going to be. But they've been actually been tarpaulin up the last few months. It's looked really dark in here, but it's all flooded with light on that, so it looks good. We'll do a once round and we'll go up through there. This trench, by the way, you'll notice that they're creating now. This was the drainage channel for water. So, you know, if you come to the wet, it just runs down there. So we're repurposing that to be able to have our main services run to get power and data all the way around. That's why this has been opened up 